All right, Andres, what would Buddha be doing if he was alive today? You know, there's this fascinating misconception that the Buddha kind of laid out all of his teachings and said, this is it. But that's not the case. Actually, the Buddha said, continue improving them after I'm not here. And I think uh, if, if the Buddha was alive today, he would be really interested in figuring out what are like the, the largest effect sizes for possible transformative experiences and, and ways of modifying our nervous system that get rid of dukkha, un, unpleasant uh, suffering. And um, I think uh, it would be researching um, how consciousness works and its interrelationship with the brain with cutting edge paradigms of neuroscience. And specifically, it would be looking at things that cause some of the you know, best meditative states, uh, an example of it being uh, 5-MeO-DMT, just largest effect size that we know of when it comes to introducing you into, for example, what might be described as kind of an extremely high concentration state or a jhana state. And uh, simply because we have these very large effect sizes, and I think like that it can clearly change the world for the better in the direction that Buddha was pushing but in a scientifically grounded way and in a much more generalizable way. So I think that's what Buddha would be doing, would be studying consciousness scientifically. And seeing what 21st century scientific techniques could be used to eradicate suffering. Yes.